Well, good morning, everybody. Yep, it still is morning. <laughs> Took me a little bit to get things set up this morning. Welcome to Needlebug. And my name is Karen. And today is April the 26th, 2023. So today, what I thought I would do is um, a bit of a follow up on yesterday's um, video on the review of the Nerge scroll frame. Uh, I am going to stitch today using that, so we shall see how all of that goes. And, of course, a bit of a stitch with me. So, yeah, we'll see how things go. I wanted to follow up on the Nerge because I did a little, and I guess it would help if I bring my thread over here, would it not? <laughs> Pickle. Need the little cart. Okay. Um, I did a bit of a follow up uh, checking price wise, and it seems I gave you a little bit of, well, yeah, kind of, sort of, a little bit of the wrong information. Um, so we'll get that out of the way first. When I was saying yesterday that I thought the Nerge and the uh, Ominic frames were pretty comparable in price, I still feel like the Ominic is a better made frame. However, I was wrong in the cost. I was severely wrong in the cost. When I looked it up and researched that again today, the scroll, the rods alone, which would be, you know, what you attach your fabric to. So the rods for a 60 centimeter rod, which is 23 and a half inches, it's 54 euros. For a 70 centimeter rod, which is 27 and a half inches, it's 57 euros. Now, that's just only part of your frame. It doesn't come as a set. So then you have to buy the sidebars. Okay. Here's where Here's where 15 centimeter sidebars, which is 5.9 inches, basically, let's say six inches, are 112 euros. And if you go the 30 centimeters, and I price that because the Nerge sidebars that I got are 30 centimeters, they're 118 euros. So let's add that together. If you get the 60 centimeters and the 15 centimeter sidebars, you're talking 166 euros, which converts to $183. Now, here's the kicker. Remember this, that does not include shipping or taxes. So till you add shipping onto that, which could be, I don't know, just even say $20, $21, you're over $200 for an Ominic frame. All right. If you get the 70 centimeter or the 27 and a half inch rods with the 30 inch Anyway, either way, no matter what combination you get, you're going to be well over $200 till you add the shipping and any taxes onto that. So I was severely mistaken when it came to price. Now, 
Let me get started stitching here a little bit. No, I don't want that. This. Um, the Nerge Frame. I have 24 inch bars. Okay. I'm pulling my color here, so. <laughs> okay. There it is. I have 24 inch bars, and my side pieces are 12 inches or 30 centimeters. Okay, so centimeters wise, this is a 60 by 30 centimeters. It is, it came as a set. I got it on Etsy. The cost of the set was $106. So that was the bars and the rods, the sidebars and the rods, $106. Shipping was $19 and tax was $750 for a grand total of $132.50. So you weigh that against my total cost of the NERGE compared to just the cost of the rods and the side, the side pieces for an Omenic, you're already saving $60 plus shipping. So that is why I felt the need to come on and say, whoa, 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 <laughs> hold up folks. I owe you an apology. I gave you misinformation yesterday. Um, yeah. And I didn't, I don't want to mislead you when it comes to cost. And again, you folks know what you can and cannot afford. And with all of that being said, I am going to um, rethink this a little bit. And granted, we know historically I am not a scroll frame stitcher. Okay. I'm a hoop or a Q-snap girl. I want to... Oh, shoot. Sorry. <laughs> I so want to like scroll frames. I truly do, but sometimes they just don't like me. <laughs> so I'm throwing things on the floor. Real life here, ladies and gentlemen, real life. <laughs> but I, I don't want to mislead anybody when it comes to the cost of things. Because, like I said, you folks know what you can and can't afford. Um, given all of the information that I now have, okay, I gotta find, I wanna park this up here. I don't normally do this this way. I have one parked here, so I want to go up. One, two, three, four. And park it there. Okay. Yes. Oh, go ahead, say it. Oh, good Lord, Karen, you're parking again. Yeah, go ahead, say it. I hear you going, hmm, we never know what she's going to be doing. <laughs> but I decided to do it this way just because I'm on this, I'm on the scroll. I wanted to see how this is going to work. 
my two little um but anyway given now what i have figured out as far as cost and from and what i said yesterday and i don't take back anything that i said i'm not meaning to take back anything that I said about the nerd scroll frame. I still do believe that the quantums are a higher class frame than the nerd. But the infamous but word, the nerd is a perfectly satisfactory frame uh and i did have someone correct me because i i was i was wrong and um when i said that the uh needle needs had square sidebars it does not the side tension bars are round just like this just like the ones here on the the nerd i mean it had it has been a while and i wow it was years and years and years ago that i did have i did have one needle needs and um i had since gotten rid of it because well i'm just not a big scroll frame stitcher no maybe this will maybe this will change my mind i don't know um i had a funny story uh several years ago when i was thinking i really well when i was having trouble with my hand and my arthritis in my hand, I had thought, well, you know what, I'm going to have to give up hoops and I'm going to have to work on scroll frames and I don't have a stand that accommodates this type of scroll frame. So my husband made me this PVC stand and I still had it, believe it or not. So I went on a search. <laughs> and dug it out oops sorry um but let me see if i can go up here a little bit and show it to you let me zoom in there it is you can see it's a pvc pvc thing <laughs> and that's just a little bit of it that uh, the scroll sits on and it's has legs and it is just a little bit i have it on a table because on a side table because on a regular table it was just a bit too high whoops now i lost my there we go okay it was just a bit too high so i put it on my table that I normally have aside of my chair. And it seems to be working okay. For the moment anyway. Now maybe if I had a way to uh, support my back a bit better. That focusing um, hold up a second I guess I can't do it. Okay, forget that. That's probably. Well, I guess it would help if I could. If 
I had something dark behind there, but the light from the window shineth. <laughs> so we'll just make do for today. Like I said, I just wanted to test this out and see, see how we do. These are the same color. Yeah, so I, I have it on this uh, PVC stand that my husband put together for me. And it actually, we made it so that I could sit in my recliner and put this, put the legs aside of me in the recliner. I don't like how this is. Um, how this is uh, switch cameras, mirror, flip, beautify. I'm looking for the autofocus screen. Maybe that'll do it. Sorry, I'm playing with the settings and it's not letting me go in between here. There, yeah, let's try that. Up, oh. up. Oh. Come back up here. Okay, as I said, ladies and gentlemen, real life. <laughs> you always get real life <laughs> as Karen plays with her settings and what have you. You know, you think you have this all done ahead of time and then things go run amok. And I have learned my lesson about marking things off. Um, again, I'm, well, I kind of just switched it up a little bit because I wanted to, I guess I could have continued with the extreme cross country, but you know what? Truth be told, truth be told, Karen gets a little bored with that because when you have, I don't know, it was 20 some thousand stitches of one color. Oh, oh, I can't. As much as I want to. as much as I want to. It just, it just is not gonna, I could do it in small sections, like I could do it in maybe a page, but probably not. And what I'm tr what I'm doing now is kind of uh, sticking to a column, and I started out thinking, well, maybe I'll go row by row, 
but then you have these spots where you have chunks of a color so I'm kind of sort of color completing where I can where it makes sense and I'm feathering over into the next column so that of course the dreaded the dreaded column lines we don't want those absolutely not so i'm going to feather like this as much as i can and yes to do it this way I pretty much had to park. <laughs> God. God bless America. <laughs> God. Here we go again until I get tired of parking. And then I'll think of something different once again. But, you know, I hadn't tried the extreme cross country in such a very, very long time. That, you know, it was worth another worth another shot so we so i gave it a gave it a try but yeah i just i just need the variety you know and and barb was here yesterday and her and i were we're talking about methods of stitching and what have you. And, you know, she is a, um, a very dedicated, uh, diagonal stitcher, very dedicated row by row down the diagonal off she goes. Yes. And kudos to her, kudos to her for that. I, on the other hand, switch around. Although, that being said, these designs that have all these colors in them and a lot of confetti, that method truly is, or some method of how can I say it? having a dedicated method that you that you stick to whatever it might be that works for you whether it's row by row diagonal whether it's 10 by 10 blocks on the diet or however you do the 10 by 10 blocks whether they're diagonal or um in columns, however you choose to do them, whether you go row by row, whether you cross country within the block, you know, it's having a consistent method is what makes stitching these a bit easier. At least that's my opinion. That's how I find it works. It works the best. And as much as color completing and all that stuff goes faster, and it does, that's when I don't like this. This is not very clear. Um, That's when I get lost. And oh, there we go. A 
looks a little better, I hope. That's when I get lost, lose my place, make mistakes. And I think <laughs> I really do just need to resign myself to the fact that probably some sort of Parking is probably what I need to stick with, especially when I'm doing a large piece like this that has bazillions of, well, it feels like bazillions of colors. You know, I. What I like to try and do is as many stitches of the same color that I can. Oh, I have that part to go the other, other way. It's not marked. Um, so down here and cross over this line. I like to do as many stitches of the same color as I can because all that needle threading can get on one's nerves also. What I'm, here, what I'm trying to do is not have perfectly straight lines. And right now in this chart, it isn't giving me a whole lot of opportunity now this one is parked because I'm going to come down this next column. So this one's parked in the lower, lower left. And probably what I should do is just be consistent, whether it's an up column or a down column. But now so far, so far, Stitching on this nerd so far is very much like stitching on a quantum or a millennium. Now, like I said, having it set up like this is a little bit high for me on the table. Um, But if I was in my recliner chair, I believe it would be perfectly fine. So on a table, now that was another thing someone asked me, um, do you have to have a stand to work with this frame? My answer to that would be yes. I don't know that I could hold this and stitch on it by just holding it. First of all, it's big that it's awkward to do that. Um, I don't think that would work very well. <laughs> so some type of a stand would be recommended. And as I said yesterday, if I can source somewhere the shorter sidebars, that would make it even more ideal. Uh, because this is soon going to be at the point where I'm exhausting my reach. My, not my reach, like I can reach up here. However, it's not comfortable. My stitching area to comfort area is down in here. So these, I don't need all this length in a sidebar, but that's just me. You know, everybody is a little bit different. So, um, Yes, the option is there of, okay, 
when I get up to a certain point, I could flip it around and then be like stitching top down as long as you're rotating it 100% or yeah, as long as you're bringing the top down here. So I could do that. However, that also is not really my thing. So now I do have this color marked twice. So you did see I went up the side of that one a lot. So I am going to mark it here. And then when I get up there with the other thread, I'll decide what I want to do. So I'm kind of just picking the colors and filling in as I go and working up. And I'm going to work up to the top of a page. So here's the top of my page, which is at row 470. Now, I started at the bottom, so I have this square that I'm on to finish and one more, and then I will start coming down and do the up down thing for a while. <laughs> Take notice, I said for a while, <laughs> it may not be for a big long length of time because, okay, I'm not gonna, not trying to fool you. You guys know. It could be different till you see this again. <laughs> um, my plan is, and I know today is Wednesday. However, after I uploaded the Nerge video yesterday, I ended up with what I thought was a computer fluffle. And it ended up being just a simple, just restart the thing, Karen, and it's all going to be okay. But I spent way too much time till I figured that out. <laughs> so I didn't have time to do the stitch with me yesterday. Um, but Tuesdays, my plan is to do stitch with me's and I will rotate what I'm working on. Like today, okay, it's God shed his grace. Next Tuesday, it may be um, Frosty. The next Tuesday, it may be Adam Sampler, Snowman. I'll be rotating between those three. For the time being, Thursdays will be the Hardanger Stitch Along. And for that, we're just kind of going to be stitching together. Um, yeah, until that's completed and then we'll see where we go from there. So at this point, two stitch alongs or two stitch with me's during the week. Um, on one of them, I'll probably throw in some progress so that you guys can see the progress that we've made, but you really kind of be seeing that with the stitch with me's. Yeah. So that's the plan for now. We'll see what happens. Um, oh, there was something else I wanted to tell you. Now it just escapes me. It just escapes me. I can't remember what it was. I'll think of it after I end this video. Oh. Live stream. This weekend. So watch for it. Um, and they may be rather long live streams where I'll spend quite a bit of time uh, live and stitching on something uh, for everybody to drop by. My husband is uh, going upstate for the weekend. So I figured ideal opportunity 
to do a live stream. So that is the plan. I will probably, I don't know, I'm thinking of, of uh, probably most of the weekend, Friday evening. I'll come back on Saturday and you know, we'll see how long, see how long we can, st I stay on. It will probably be quite a while as long as I can sit here and comfortably stitch. We're golden. Sunday, probably not, but Friday night and Saturday, stop by. We'll be live streaming. Sunday, he'll be home Sunday, so, you know, and then that will give me a chance to uh, recoup <laughs> from all the live. So that is the plan for this weekend. So with that, let me just say so far, this nerd frame is, is, uh, working out quite nicely. Like I said, I just kind of wish the sides would not be quite as high. If I put my makeshift PVC stand in my recliner that the legs go on each side of me and put the, um, let's see a little fuzzy here and put the scroll frame, frame on it that way. I think that will be quite nice. Um, and I think that will be doable. But definitely anybody who thinks about using this type of scroll, you definitely need some sort of a stand. Absolutely. Uh, this frame is too heavy to hold. The other thing that you could do if you have something that's weighted, you could lay this on a table and have the part that you're working on extending off of the table. Put your weighted object on top of your fabric that is on the table so that it holds it in place and then stitch on the area that's hanging off the edge. I mean, when I first, um, when I first years ago worked on a scroll frame, that's how I did it. I had, uh, I forget. I think I, <laughs> I was at a, a class and I think I actually used my purse and set this, the scroll was, was laid on the table. I had the working area hanging off of the table and I set my purse on top of what was on the table and that held it in place so that I could stitch. It was really good quite interesting to stitch that way. In fact, I thought about doing that here today, but wasn't quite sure how I, if I could get the camera in the right place and all of that to do. So we'll try that next time, maybe over the weekend, because I also need enough room to work my, my streaming software or my recording software. So yeah, it was a bit of a, I'll work on figuring that out until Friday evening. So look for a live Friday after, late afternoon into the evening, um, and then Saturday. Okay. So we're, we're going to try that, but so far, mainly be due to the price point. I would say a nerd is quite fine. 
Yes, quantums are fabulous. Very well made. A superior, uh, superior to this product. I will say that. But when you're looking at cost, this Nurge will do everything for you that a quantum can do. It will be just as nice. And someone else said, I wish I could remember who said what, but I'm very bad at that. Uh, one of the other people that commented on the video yesterday said, the needle needs is an unfinished wood also. But what happens, it develops kind of a, a patina from handling it from the oils in your hand, which is really kind of rather nice. So, you know, I, especially if you're looking at cost, yes, get the nerge. Get the nerge. So far, I'm, I'm, uh, now, am I going to be a scroll frame stitcher all the time? Truth be told, probably not. But will I use this? Yeah. Yeah. Will I do this whole project, this whole uh, piece on this? I can't say that because you know how I am. I, I, I could change my mind in three days. <laughs> Who knows? And for now, I, I mean, it, it's... For me, it's finding the position of comfort. As long as I can get the positions of comfort, it's fine. When I, um, I can't get comfortable using something, then I need to switch. So there you have it. So with that today, I know it's a rather short stitch with me, but I just did want to get a few stitches in so that I could tell you guys what it's like. Is it doable? I wanted to correct the error of my ways when it comes to cost. I mean, you're talking quite a significant cost difference. I mean, just up front, Without any postage, you're already talking $60 different. And then add the postage on to that. You're saving quite a few dollars going with this one. And in all honesty, I think you'd be happy with it. So with that, my friends, I will hopefully see you on Friday. I will... Um, put up a post of when I will start going live and we'll stay on for as long as we stay on. Okay. So with that, my friends, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will look for you all on Friday. Okay. Let me turn this up. There we go. So, bye-bye for now. See you Friday.